Since the original Xperia Z, Sony has really been trying to step up their game in the flagship device department, so we're really excited to see what they have in store with this next iteration. Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox and give my first impressions on the Sony Xperia Z2. All right, and here we are with the Sony Xperia Z2 in this unboxing. I will say that this box is actually a lot larger than what I remember the uh, original Z1 and the Xperia Z before it were uh, sort of packaged in. This one's a lot wider and also a lot taller, to be fair. Um, but we'll go ahead and see what it is that makes this a much larger box than I'm used to. So let's go ahead and open that lid. So we have some initial documentation here right on the front, um, but we'll just go ahead and put that aside uh, of little consequence. We're gonna go ahead and just get the device out. So this is our first look at the actual device. It looks really nice already. It's the white version, which I'm really excited for because the white version looked even nicer than the black on black that we saw at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside for a second and we'll just take a look at the contents inside of the box. So take this flap out and here we are. So from the looks of it, we have uh, the usual standard fare, but some extra bits on the side. We'll start with the usual bits, like the wall plug that goes straight into the wall and adapts the micro USB charging cable, which is right here. These are two things that you're usually going to find anyway. So go ahead and just stack that right there. And then underneath what look like the headphones added in with this is the other documentation. So this is also something that we're not surprised to find. Uh, there is actually some documentation for the headphones themselves, which means they're probably a little bit higher quality than the standard fare you would find. So let's take a look at those. So here are the headphones and it looks like there's a little bit of coloration here. It looks like they're, uh, they're uh, a little bit more special than the kind of headphones you would normally get, the more like standard generic earbuds that you would find. There you go. Oh yeah, these look like they are one of the higher end ones available. So we'll take a look at those a little bit closer. As you can see here, it also comes with the uh, extra buds there that has a little bit of color in them for some extra style. So here are the uh, high quality earbuds that we're going to definitely take a look at a little bit. It's always nice to see uh, these manufacturers adding in some high quality accessories in with their phones. And that is also what we're gonna find here. Looks like there's a small uh, piece right here that might be for um, just a little bit of an add on for this, which is something I'm really excited about. Um, I heard that this might be added in. Uh, this is a dock that actually takes advantage of those pogo pins in, uh, that are on the side of the phone in order for some charging. So you can see right there, there's the micro USB charging port, and then you put this on its side onto the dock and it just is a, a nice elegant way of using those pins that I used to complain about a lot um, with the Xperia Z and the Z1 after it, that those pins were not necessarily being used. That docking port was not being used uh, to its proper advantage. And it looks like it is this time and it is included in the Xperia Z2 box as we see here. There you go, and you can already see the shine coming from the glass on the back of the phone uh, coming through the white there. And now we can get over to the front and here we go. Uh, you can see already here from just the screen that the bezels have been brought down. Uh, it's a common complaint with Xperia devices that the bezels on the left and right and also the top and bottom are uh, just very large, but at least on the sides they have been really brought down to size. As you can see there, um, there really isn't that much distance between the uh, very end of the phone and where the screen starts to display. The top and bottom still have quite a bit of girth to them, but that's uh, kind of a small price to pay when you already have great bezels on the sides that will help with the handling. You can see that my thumb uh, finds it easy to just sort of reach to the other side of the phone and it's uh, not that hard to maneuver from there. And also the great handling on uh, on the actual device itself given, uh, to, given because of those slightly more rounded edges especially in the corners, really makes for a device that is very attractive. Um, it has a look that really only Sony puts out there and it's definitely been one of their defining traits. And uh, in the end, what we have here is a very, very attractive device all around inside and out. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including all of the coverage of the Sony Xperia Z2. We just got this phone at our doorstep. You just watched the unboxing and my first impressions on it. And our first impressions in a nutshell are we're really excited to uh, put this phone through all of its paces. So keep it tuned here for all of that and for even more coverage at androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.